I was just terrified out of my mind and uh, that showed. Fast forwarding a little bit, uh, almost bringing us back to present, but you know, London was obviously an incredible experience. Well, so kind of two questions. Um, yeah. Both were incredible places. You got to go London and Rio for the Olympics. Obviously, the, the meets were different for you. Um, you know, you had to have enjoyed both being, you know, the Olympic Games. But how was, was Rio different for you mentally? And what have you learned since then? And, and what lessons are you taking from Rio that you couldn't take from London? And how do you think that's going to make you a better swimmer and person heading into 2020? Yeah, gosh, they were so different. <laughs> um, London, I was bright eyed. I don't necessarily want to say naive, but on a, on a scale more so naive and a little kind of ignorant to the, to the pressure and to the expectations, which I think is a great thing. I wish I could be ignorant in that way. And then I'm working towards that, but it was just, it was so much fun and it was new and it was my dream come true. And it, it came with such an ease and, and I think Rio, um, I was much less ignorant of the pressure and the expectations. And I was just so much more aware of what I was supposed to do. Um, and I think that really just kind of took me over. And so I think going into Rio, um, I was more scared than I was excited, which like breaks my heart to say, because anyone who knows me knows that that is so not me. Like I am just happy about everything. I'm optimistic about everything. Like I can't wait to make the most out of every opportunity and, and going into here, my, my second Olympic games, which is a dream come true in and of itself. I was just terrified out of my mind. And uh, that showed, um, it showed so prevalently in my performance and um, walking away from that, you know, I learned so much more from Rio than I did from London. And I think it just goes to say, you know, when we go through times of struggle and disappointment and failure, it tells you so much more about who you are and it teaches you so much more about yourself and gives you the opportunity to really be that person you want to be in times of disappointment you know it's easy to say like oh well, things don't go my way this is how I'm gonna act versus when things don't actually go your way how how are you gonna follow through with that so you know walking away we've we've touched on it already but just the importance of, of having fun and loving it and being happy while I'm doing it um, that's been huge for me moving forward and also recognizing that people can still be an inspiration in failure um, and be an inspiration and disappointment. Yep. And I don't know if I would have thought that was possible before Rio. 